The Blaze, in a way, is citizen journalism in many ways, because we believe that it is our um, job to find out what's going on and inform you. But it's your job to inform yourself, to question with boldness and hold to the truth and then speak without fear, spread the word. And as you will see Thursday, we believe the truth has an amazing way of distilling, purifying, and in the end, doing something only the truth can do, build a unique community. That is our highest aspiration, to build a community of amazing, self-empowered and informed Americans. Right now we're working on an incredible piece of technology and it's called second screen technology. Much of the things that we're working on comes from the years of talking to our audiences when they come in. How you interact with the, the things you'll tell me all the time, you know, Glenn, if you could just do this or just do that. But also how you interact with the space when you come into a studio like this. Um, teaches us a lot and shows us the things that not only you need, but also the things that you would like. We're going to give you, in the next 12 months, a way for you to watch the shows in ways that no one has ever done in television before. It is currently being pioneered by Nintendo and in limited use by NBC on select shows, limited uh, amount. Here's what we're going to do. We're talking about developing this technology now into a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week seven -day service that the entire network will revolve around. The manpower on this idea alone is staggering. But here's the one difference between you and them. They believe your television is the center of the universe. We believe it's you. And second screen technology. They believe that this screen, the one that sits in your home, the television there, is the one that is the most important. That's the first screen. This one is the second screen. I disagree with that. I think in time, this is the first screen. That's the also ran. But maybe that's semantics, but it's different the way we think. But I want to show you a little mock-up of, of how exactly this second screen technology is planned to be implemented on this network in the next 12 months. One thing, um, it will allow you to pause the show and explore what we're talking about. So if you're watching one of my monologues and you want to stop and say, I, I don't know what the fiscal cliff even is, this is how it will work. Now, let me show you this by um, watching watching a piece of a show I did on October 19th. We just pulled out an Obama. old monologue. Now, this is what you will it see on your um, monitor at home. This is not what will be on your we television. Just this regular part will be on we your television, but this bar will not be. So you're watching this, and you see it there, and all of a sudden, this screen lights up, a little arrow. That's telling you that there's more information here. I'm just talking about Greece. So you click that arrow, it stops the program, and brings up live video of what's happening right now in Greece. Or perhaps an, uh, an old piece that we did where you can watch more footage of what the riots mean, etc., etc. If you just want to dismiss it, you don't have to uh, click on it. Or when you're done, you just click on the screen again, and it goes back oh, I've been to the monologue. And this while. syncs with your television. I, I just love now, this book. At this point, I'm starting to talk about this book, and you'll see the next little icon lights up. And so if you're interested, if this interests you, this subject line, you can hit this little button, this icon, and the icon will pause the show and bring up books on this subject, ones that we have used to research this. You can then click on it and even buy the book or read that book or the one that I'm quoting at that time right to the page. You're done with that, go back to watching the show. Now, What's happened since here in this monologue, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start talking about May. a poll. People with positive and opinions there's a couple of things of I want to show you. First of all, party, polls um, will play an important role in a couple of different ways. Um, when I get through with this, all of a sudden you'll see that center icon light up and you can push that. If you want to see this poll or who did this poll or any of the statistics behind it, you can punch that and it will show you all of the polling in graph form and all of the rest. But like I said, polls will be important. A lot of people say, we're taking a poll now. But we're going to take instant polls from viewers watching just like you and give you instant results. So in other words, if you're watching the show right now and I said, hey, what do you believe the future is? Is it bright or dark? All you have to do, and it will calculate the numbers and put them right here on the screen instantaneously. Back to watching the show.
In just a few months, the Golden Party went from something to be whispered about in Greece. Here you're seeing that I'm quoting the New York Times. Again, the icon is going to light up. And if you click on that because you want to know where, did he take that out of context? You'll be able to light that up and it will take you right to the New York Times article where you can read it until you realize it's the New York Times, why am I wasting my time? And then hit the screen and it will go back to the monologue and the back show. When I wrote this book, this is the first book that I ever read. Now this is the, I haven't um, read it in a long time. this I'm talking about and good. we write so many books and there's so much good information um, in them. This is a reference, um, here I'm talking about the Golden Dawn Party and I talked about how this Jesus works in, comic. you know, in that and book that was written about 10 years ago. Click on the GB books. books and it will take you to all of our books and it will show you the books that have something on this topic. Click on the button please. There you go. And it'll take you all of our books into that one and the page in which I'm quoting. It'll take you right to the chapter. It all goes back to the comparison between Jesus and Hitler. When Jesus and Hitler, the one thing they had in common, they both looked at people with problems and said, I have the solution, and people followed them. Okay. These are the, this is one part of the second screen technology that we will be introducing in the next 12 months. But there are two other pieces from the information age, global news we've covered, now into research and development. Two other things that if we have time, I want to show you when we come back. Um, this gives you control of what you want to look at, what you see, without losing what you will also see on the, you know, traditional television. It'll give you more control of the news and information. Also, do we have time just to even show a little clip of the brain? Because we're running out of time. Can we show just a little clip of the brain? Bring this up on the main screen. This is something I've worked on for five years. This is the only piece that I don't know if we can actually implement. Everybody's telling me they don't think we can get. I've got to sacrifice one of them, and I have a feeling this is going to be the sacrificial lamb, is the brain. But this one is important. Just show a little clip of this, please. Um, this is, you're watching the news up here. You're watching what I have up here. But this is an edit bay for you. Trust so you're watching things, and you and say, Lord, my you gosh, I wish my friends would see this part. So you say, I want to save to brain. You save it to brain. Here you can pick exactly how much of that you want, not the whole monologue. You can find it exactly where you want and cut it off exactly where you want. You send it to your brain. Then it says, you can label it any way you want. Then it will come up and say, do you want to share this? Do you want to share what's on your mind, what your brain is? You can either email it, tweet it, or Facebook. This is the brain, and this is just the very beginning of it. We don't have time to show it all to you. And so much more tomorrow. We're just getting started. Back in a second.